Okay, got up this morning after anchoring at Marquesa Key. It was a 50 mile run from the Dry Tortugas. And uh, got some good sleep. Uh, about 20 miles to go to Key West where I'll get some supplies on my way to Marathon. And then of course, ultimately to Bermuda. But uh, man, things couldn't have been couldn't have went smoother yesterday. Anchored off of that key in dead calm. Uh, no side to side, no back and forth, no anchor swing. It was absolutely uh, like sleeping in a marina. Leaving Key West, heading to Marathon. Winds are light, coming out of the north. Uh, so I'll motor to the inside passage, gulf side of the Keys, and uh, put up the sails. I might even put up the drifter and get some video footage of that. Well, it's not a drifter, it's an ASIM, but uh, we'll see how the weather is. The Key West Express, coming back from the dry tortugas, I imagine. Like a jet drive. Okay, just uh, checking out of Boot Key and Marathon, or the Marathon City Marina. This is the dinghy dock. And uh, I've been here for about four weeks, almost just shy of a month. I, I rented a mooring ball, as you can see, the mooring fields here. Um, took care of some business, uh, things I had forgotten to do. And I'm killing time because the Atlantic is unsettled at the moment and will be really until April. But uh, anyway, I'm going to continue meandering through the Keys on my way to St. Peter's, no, not St. Petersburg, uh, St. Augustine, and get a slip there, resupply, and wait for a weather window. It's just coming up on my sailboat endurance it's gonna get an outside uh, image of this this way uh, you see how I got it set up Leaving Boot Key in Marathon, making my way to Miami, ultimately, not in a hurry. Uh, close reach, perfect day for sailing. Okay, departing Long Key. I'm gonna hit this little cut right here under sail. I'm gonna trust those depths. Obviously, I have uh, 3.2 feet under the keel. I spent two days here waiting for uh, a wind direction change. Working my way to St. Augustine. Perfect day for sailing. Hopefully this wind angle will will hold for the rest of the day. End up anchoring somewhere around uh, Tarpon Basin or uh, Key Largo. Either one. All right, just getting some footage going through the keys. Uh, left long key. Heading to Key Largo for all intents and purposes. Um, anyway, this is the boat 
and this is not the condition it'll be in when I leave to Bermuda obviously things will be ship shape these two quarter bursts this one and this one will be clear uh, because I'll be sleeping in either of those two depending on which way the boat's healing um, anyway the galley and uh, wet locker air conditioning shower toilet uh, and this is the V berth uh, these cushions come out and there's uh, storage and drawers down there anyway won't be spending any time up there offshore but that is where I sleep normally that's the same progress not career or relationship it. progress we're talking money with Chime Secured Credit Builder Visa okay I'm currently in Tarpon Basin just west of Key Largo um, and just change those zincs right there the prop and the uh, the hull zinc anyway I wanted to get a video of this water I've sailed through here quite a few times and I didn't stop really because you know the water looked real green and nothing special about it but anyway this water is crystal clear you can see the bottom the seagrass there it's about seven eight feet right now however 30 percent of it <clears throat> is these patches of sand uh, i'm assuming you can see that that's where i got my anchor um like i said it looks green but the water is actually crystal clear and it's an excellent spot to anchor uh also right straight ahead there's a light green three-story house where you can dock your dinghy now, there's no dock but you just tie it up to the mangrove tree there and go to Publix it's a couple blocks away get a haircut there's a bar a shopping basically a strip mall over there where you see that fire department practice tower I think it is you can also uh, tie off your dinghy there and you got 365 degree protection just an excellent anchorage uh, a few miles west of Key Largo like I said it is absolutely crystal clear water don't let the green color fool you Key Largo really kind of a really nice restaurant nightclub motel it's a good restaurant right here old pirate ship seems to be finally sinking I usually stay here at this marina but uh, not this time this is the main freeway to get to Key West now really nice spot right here I'm not a hundred percent sure that that's gonna hit me but uh, it looks like it might so I furled in the Genoa because I don't have the main up I'm heading dead downwind and I was just using the Genoa uh, as kind of a, a spinnaker the mainsail would be blocking it so I just left it down so if I get hit by that I uh, left just a patch of the Genoa up. Now, I'm, I'm under motor right now and this will heal the boat over I'll turn into it and wait it out we'll see well, I've kind of decided that I'm, I'm gonna get hit by some of it just the tail end of it looks like uh, so I've hoped to and I'm just gonna wait for it all right repositioning anchored here in Miami uh, there's no real wind however there are uh, thunderstorms and uh, hazardous conditions offshore so I'm gonna motor down the ICW on my way to St. Augustine and uh, obviously I didn't get hit by that squall yesterday or I'd have got footage of it I just uh, hope to and let it pass by because I was in shallow water and uh, didn't want to 
uh, deal with that. Anyway, uh, moving towards the objective. All right, it's uh, March 8th, the morning of, uh, anchored on the ICW, just left out of Hillsboro Cut, which is uh, back there somewhere. Um, motor sailing, uh, only because the winds are so light that I, I'm only going about two and a half, three knots, and I want to make it past Cape Canaveral, which is about 200 miles from here, before the wind starts coming out of the north, and it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a blow as well. We should have um, you know 20 knots southerlies tonight, gusting 20, 25 tomorrow, which should zip us right up there. So it's all good heading to St. Augustine. Well, motor sailing, if you could, I think adding the sailing part would be gratuitous. Um, that's Ponce de Leon over there, inlet. I ended up anchoring a few days in Fort Pierce instead of pushing through quickly to St. Augustine or Ponce de Leon inlet. Uh, I went ahead and put the sails up and threw the fishing pole off the back and just Took my time, missed my weather window. So, anyway, this is the situation now. Uh, dead calm, but uh, much better than motoring through the uh, ICW, where you got to worry about running aground, other traffic, hailing bridges, watching for channel markers. So this is definitely uh, the way to go. Plus, you can keep motoring through the night. So, should be in St. or, yeah, St. Augustine by tonight at some point. Coming into St. Augustine Inlet. Sketchy. No, uh, there's no chart channel because it, it moves constantly. They recommend not coming in at night. I can definitely see why. Uh, nothing. Every now and again, you'll get a channel marker. Some are lit, some are. Yeah, this is definitely a inlet that you want to avoid. There's one back there. couple mornings after but this is um, St. Augustine Inlet as you can see it's a natural inlet so the sandbars move constantly and that's why they don't chart it not to beat a dead horse but I've got my plotter up on St. Augustine which is about 31 or not not St. Augustine Jacksonville which is 30 miles north of my location just showing this uh, channel and the channel markers. Um, just a word to the wise as I go down to St. Augustine, and this caught me by surprise. Um, and it's the only inlet in Florida that's like this. There's no jetties, it's all natural. You got this one buoy here, it's a mile and a half or so offshore to show you where St. Augustine is. But when you try to navigate the inlet, you got nothing. As you can see, there's no channel, no channel buoys. There is a channel, there is channel buoys, but it's not going to be on your plotter. So coming in at night, you're going to have to locate the buoys yourself and uh, come in visually. Your plotter is not going to be, well, it's going to be of help. It's going to show you that you're in the inlet, but it's, there's no buoys on your plotter. It's the only one in Florida like that. Caught me by surprise. I had no moon, but luckily it was uh, slack tide 
and dead calm so I came in uh, dead slow and, and uh, used the flashlight and spotted them all but something to be aware of if you're coming into St. Augustine and I came in on the south side uh, and that's where the channel markers were anyway they are not on your plotter FYI <laughs>